So if you go, if you went to Susquehanna University in uh, 2015, if you attended there, or especially if you worked there, then I owe you a waffle maker. Um, so I'm sorry about it, or at least a clean waffle maker. I left it behind. Um, and it all started with um, my friend Tristan. He was, you know, part my personal trainer and part my grandmother. Um, he had an IQ of, I think, still has, I believe, an IQ of 153. Um, very tall German guy, speak, speaks like three languages, incredibly powerful martial artist, and was very adamant that I eat my food. Um, I would nibble at lunch on my apples, and he would say, Dan, give me a bite. You gotta give me a full bite, Dan. <laughs> and when someone who's about, I don't know, twice your height, and speaks German, and knows, I think, Tang Soo Do is the martial art form he practices. Um, well, you say yes, you take that bite, um, or at least I did. Um, so he was sort of peer pressuring slash intimidating me into healthy eating habits, um, which I'm internally grateful for. And we were both in speech and debate, and the competition was at Susquehanna University, and at dinner, I, I made some interesting nutritional choices. I ate entirely french fries and kale. Um, uh, doctors don't quite have a name for that yet, but they're planning to call it the Daniel Oliveri. Um, it does not leave you very full. So Tristan, in his role as my grandmother, uh, told me, Dan, you have to eat something real. And he sent me back to the cafeteria to get more food. And I was looking around, I didn't find anything too exciting until I found a waffle maker. And I thought, wow, I love waffles, you know. You uh, pour the batter in, you have to flip it around, wait for it. Some of it gets all crunchy. Mm. Uh, it's good, they're real good, real good. Oh man, hotels, motels, it's my jam. Um, better than a pool, honestly, much better than cable is the waffle maker. Um, I'll go two, three. Uh, and so, the problem with this waffle maker is that its batter dispenser is, well, it's a little disassembled, um, not in batter producing uh, shape at the moment. But that's okay, because the people have thought ahead. They left a bowl full of batter next to it. And I'm like, oh, just my luck. So I take the batter and I pour it in. And then I realize that was not batter, that was ice cream. Oh. <sighs> Which. I have 20-20 vision. I don't know how that happened. That's on me. Um, I'd like to think it's a little bit on the other person who left it there, but really it's on me. It, it's on me. And so then, worse than pouring ice cream into uh, a waffle maker is having someone see you um, <laughs> pour ice cream into a waffle maker. And that was someone I'd never met before and likely and hopefully will never meet again. Walks over and asks, did you just put ice cream in a waffle maker? And I swear to God, this is how I responded. I said, well, I think on a metaphorical level, it's not really ice cream. <laughs> Which he didn't really accept as an argument, understandably. Uh, I wasn't there for debate, by the way. I was there for speech. Uh, I think that explains that. Um, and so then he calls his friends over um, to watch this idiot who just put ice cream in a waffle maker. And they were all girls, and I was very embarrassed. But also a little bit of me was like, well, girls are standing near me. I should, I should consider this as a possible future uh, for myself, pouring ice cream into waffle makers. Um, and so then, he, you know, they eventually, they left, and they left me with a problem, which is, what do I do now? Um, I thought, you know, waffle makers are hot. Maybe they could melt this ice cream and solve my problem. So I closed the lid, um, and I flipped it around, which, yeah, don't, don't do that, um, just as a rule. Um, and so then I noticed that not only was the waffle maker not on, it also wasn't plugged in, um, which was a break for me. I don't, I don't see that going well if it started to heat up. Uh, and then my friend Tristan comes over and says, Dan, we have to go. And I know that we really do have to go because, well, I don't want anyone to find out what I've just done, and two, the bus is outside. And so I leave, and I leave my... Uh, present forever who tries to make a waffle next. And I'm on the bus, and we're going back, and I tell my friends, oh, so, you know, I put ice cream in a waffle maker. And I tell them the story, they're like, wow, Dan, how old were you when you did that? <laughs> and 
I said, I did that five minutes ago. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>